my lovely people. I've been gone for a long time. I've been gone for like two weeks, three weeks, to be honest. Um, what have I been doing? Um, I have been up to much of nothing, quarantining, working, um, and yeah. Basically, I wanted to come back with a story time. I was talking to my niece and... You know, I was going to do this story time anyway, but by me talking to her, I was just like, you know what? She asked me, like, um, how did I meet my best friend? And I was like, the pickle lady. Anybody that know us, well, she know us, but she don't know about the pickle lady. Anybody that know us know that's how I met my best friend. The pickle lady, right? And once I get finished telling this story, you're going to understand why I call her the pickle lady. This is basically just the story about, not about how I met my best friend. No, that's not the story. But that is how I met my best friend because I told her about the pickle lady. I told her this story that I'm about to tell y'all. So um, this is the time that um, I could have been kidnapped and nobody would have ever known where I was at. So yeah, anyway, let's get to this story time, shall we? Anyway, okay, so it was like a, you know, I was at my cousin house. I'm going to give everybody a fake name. I'm the only person with the real name. My name is Jasmine. Everybody know that. So, well, y'all know that, the ones that's watching. But anyway, so everybody's going to have a fake name. So I was at my cousin house. Um, She's my older cousin. Her name is Cynthia, right? Okay, so her name is Cynthia. Cynthia have children. Um, And, you know, the oldest kid that she had is she's a girl and her name is Brittany okay so you know me and Brittany well all the kids she my cousin Cynthia had three kids so her oldest daughter which is um around my age um we went outside you know on this nice sunny day beautiful day it was really nice it was a really nice day um all the kids in the neighborhood was outside so they lived in like apartment complexes I mean is it a apartment complex? no yeah Apartment complex. It was like, yeah, it was like a bunch of different apartments in one little community. Like, one little, it was like a gated, like, it like, was like gated. So, basically, you in order to get to her apartment complex, you have to drive through like a gate just to get into like everybody's, you know, complex. I guess. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I never saw nothing like this, but yeah, that's that's the like the little area she lived in or whatever. And it was a bunch of apartments. So that means it was a bunch of kids that would play outside, whatever. So yeah, we was like, you know, playing outside, having a good time. You know, one of my cousins was riding his bike and then my other cousin, I don't even remember what she was doing, but we were all outside just playing, having fun, right? So we walked down um down the court uh yeah we walked down the court like to someone else's like apartment complex and we're just standing outside just talking me and Brittany we standing outside and we're just talking and then all of a sudden this lady I just hear like a voice I just hear a voice like hey y'all want some juice and some pickles or juice do y'all want some juice and pickles and I'm like like, I'm looking around like, where is this voice coming from? Like, who is asking, do somebody want some juice or pickles? Like, what the heck? So, my cousin, Brittany, she looks up and she like, oh, um, you want accent? Like, she look up, so I look up because I'm like, the lady is in the window, okay? Asking like, hey, dude, who wants some juice and pickles? So, um... I remind you, it's only us two standing right there. Um, everybody else is like riding their bike, so it's just me and Brittany just standing there, whatever. So I'm looking up, and she like, "Do y'all want juice and pickles?" And I'm like, "No," because first off, my mother always told me, "Don't take nothing from nobody." You don't know these people. People could put anything into stuff and have you drugged up or whatever. Like that's how people kidnap people, children. So I'm like. No, I'm okay. And I've been like this since I was like, like little, little. You know, I, I, I didn't used to take stuff from like strangers or nothing. So I barely used to talk to strangers. I wasn't, I wasn't a, 
Like, oh, I'm going to say hi to a stranger if they say hi to me. I wasn't that kid. <laughs> like, I literally actually, like, slapped a stranger's hand because they, like, touched me. And I was like, slap. Like, get the heck away from me, you stranger. <laughs> so, anyway. So, she was like, yeah, like, do you want some, um, some juice and pickles? And my cousin looked at me and she was like, you want some juice and pickles? And I'm like, no. First off, I mean, they used to have, like, you know, juice, like... Cynthia used to buy like her children like juice and whatever whatever you know snacks and all of that so they already had like snacks in the house so I'm like thinking in my mind like we could just like get snacks at your house because y'all always got snacks like y'all got snacks in the house y'all got juice and you know stuff or whatever so um yeah my cousin Brittany she ended up asking me like hey you want to get some juice or whatever and I'm like no I'm, I'm good I don't want no juice and then my cousin Brittany like, um, no, we don't want any, right? So I'm just like, okay, whatever. So I'm, I'm thinking we're not going to get no juice, we're not going to get no pickles, we're not going to get anything, you know? So all of a sudden, Brittany looked up and was like, you know what? I do. I want some juice. I want some pickles. And I'm like, no, you do not. <laughs> no, you don't. So all of a sudden... Brittany walks into this lady apartment complex and I'm like Brittany what are you doing like what you doing she was like come on come on we just gonna hype and just get some juice and pickles like she do this all the time like like as if she knew the lady knew of the lady so I'm just like okay cool 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 okay I'm scared I'm nervous because I know what my mother said okay so my mother she used to always tell me, do not go in nobody's house don't take nothing from nobody none of that like when you go outside you just outside with the kids and that's it you don't go in nobody's house i don't care if you know the person i mean know their children or playing with their children you do not go in the house but me being a kid i still went in the house even though i knew it was wrong but i only went because i felt like okay if my cousin go i can't let her go by herself you know i have to go too just in case that lady do try something like it could be two of us like you know what i'm saying but <laughs> i don't know anyway i go in the house with her um well the apartment complex i go inside the apartment with her so I'm just like, what the heck? I might as well. Okay, I'll go. So I go. And we get upstairs. And um, she meet us at the door. She opened the door or whatever. And as soon as I step into this, her apartment, I see like a whole bunch of like toys. Like lined up like on the side. Like to your right. Like I look straight to my right because, I mean, it was just like a lot of toys. I look straight to my right. And when you first walk in, it's her living room. Don't look at my candles too much because they're a little empty. Well, not this one, but this one is empty. So, yeah. So, this is her living room. When you first walk in, her living room. And then this is her dining room, right, on the side. And her kitchen is over here. And her straight back is her bedroom and probably, like, her bathroom or whatever. Like, I think I could see her bedroom. I'm picturing that. I think I can see her bedroom as I, like, look, like, straight ahead. I can see her bedroom. Um, and her, I'm sure her bedroom is somewhere back there. But, anyway, I see a bunch of toys. Like, that was the first thing I saw was toys. And I'm just like, she got a whole bunch of, like, it was, like, little boy toys, though. Like, I see a whole bunch of, like, little boy toys. And I'm just like, okay. She don't have no children. Well, I don't think she had any children. She was an older lady. I mean, she wasn't old, but she was probably about, like, in her, like, early 50s, something like that. But I'm not thinking, I'm, then I'm thinking, like, okay, maybe she got, like, grandkids. That's what I was thinking, like, okay, like, maybe she got grandkids or something like that. I don't know. That was, it was kind of weird because I'm like, she got kids here? So, um, when we get in there, she like, um, come in the kitchen, come in the kitchen. So, we walking behind her to get kitchen, I mean, mm. <laughs> We walking behind her in the like towards the kitchen, and um she's like, okay, here's your juice. You know the juice is in the refrigerator. So she takes the juice out the refrigerator. She's giving us the juice or whatever. We got the juice, and then she have the pickles. She, the pickles is under the cabinet. So she leaned down, get the pickles, and it was a big jaw, y'all. I mean, I feel like this is kind of like a big jaw. It basically covered like my whole hand. And my hands, I got pretty big hands. So, the jaw basically, like, it was bigger than this. I mean, when I tell you, it was like a family pack of freaking pickles. Like, it was like a family pack of pickles. But the pickles wasn't even open. Like, the pickles wasn't open. And you know the little juicy juices? Um, The little juice is like, 
It got like the silver top where you can just poke the hole in. I'm just like, okay, so she never opened up these pickles. Like, what made her think of juice and pickles? Like, now I can see juice, but pickles? But okay, whatever. So she's like, oh, you know, I never opened these pickles before. Um, can y'all help me open these pickles? Well, actually, no. First, she was trying to open the pickles. And she was tapping. She grabbed a butter knife. And she was tapping the jaw, like, tapping all the way around the jaw like this. With the, with the, um, butter knife. Right? And then she tried to open up the jaw. And she can't open it. So, she asked me and my cousin to help open it. Me and Brittany to help open it. And, you know, Brittany... I'm like, and Brittany, I'm like, I'm looking at Brittany. Okay, so first off, when she gave us the juice, right, I'm looking at Brittany like, like, Brittany, this juice, like, if you, if she wanted to, she probably could, like, stick a needle or anything through the juice, and we can't really see it because a needle is so thin that you can't even see the hole in it. Like, she could have did anything to the juice. So I'm just like, looking at Brittany and Brittany looking at me, and I'm just like, don't drink the juice. Like, don't drink the juice. Like, we're not drinking this juice. Okay? Like, I'm like, I'm not drinking this juice. Like, I'm not doing it. I'm not drinking this juice. I don't I don't care. I don't care if she get offended. I mean, I act like I was drinking the juice, but I did not drink that juice. Like, y'all. Because I don't know what she did to that juice. Like, I didn't want to pass out and then wake up freaking tied up or not wake up at all. <laughs> like, okay. So, I was just like... Okay, we not we we came to an understanding with our eyes, like we're not drinking this juice. Okay. She like looking at me, okay, all right, we're not drinking it. Okay. So, okay. So then the pickles. So she like, oh, can you guys help me open up this the pickles or whatever? And I'm just like oh, okay. So, um, I, I don't I don't remember if I tried to open up the pickles first or my cousin tried to open up the pickles. But when I tell you, y'all, it was just, like, weird. Like, it was just, like, so weird. But anyway, all of a sudden, we in the kitchen trying to open up these pickles, right? And we hear... And me and my cousin look at each other like... Who at the door? Like, who... Who the heck is at the door? Like, who is knocking? So the lady was like, oh, oh, who? I wonder who that is. And we're like, I don't know. It's your house, right? So we just thinking, like, I, I don't know. Maybe she got, like, a visitor or something like that come into the house. So she go, and she open up the door. And all of a sudden, my little cousin come in. I'm going to call her Ashley. Just, 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 that, that's just the name I'm going to give it. Her name is Ashley, right? She come in, and Ashley is about, like, six at the time, five or six years old. And we both look at her. Me and Brittany look at Ashley like, Ashley, what is you doing in here? And she like, oh, I saw y'all come in, so I thought that I would just come in. So I just followed y'all. And we like, so now, if we die. Now, you gonna die too? Come on! Like, what the? All three of us can't be dying up in here? Like, somebody gotta live to tell a story. Somebody gotta live to tell a story. But you didn't follow us in the pickle lady, killer lady, house, kidnapper person house. Why, 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 why would you do that? Why, 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 Ashley, why? Okay? So, now, we got, we got, I'm in a house, Brittany in a house. Ashley in the house. The only person left is my other cousin. Well, he's not in the house. But I don't even think he know where we at because he was riding his bike. Right? So, um, let's just call him Brandon. Right? So, Brandon, he he just riding his bike. I don't even think Brandon know what's going on. He don't know we in the house. He don't know nothing. So, us three, we just in the house. So, that would have been basically just like three lost kids. Three lost kids. Three whole lost kids. Like, so anyway, so I'm mad at this point. I'm kind of like upset. Like, why did Ashley have to come in here? Like, I did not want her to get hurt too. <laughs> like, I didn't. But 
okay, okay, okay. So we just looking at her like, why, 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 why would you come in here? Like, why? She's like, but y'all came in here. We like, okay, we already in here. So we're gonna have to get through this together, okay? That's not what we said, but that's, that's, that's me and Brittany mindset. But Ashley, she's so young, she don't even understand what's going on. That this lady seemed like a crazy lady. I mean, the lady looked crazy, y'all. She looked crazy. It's like, when she was in the window, I felt like she was like a little off because she yelling out the window, hey, who wants some juice or who wants some pickles? I, I already thought she was crazy. But when I actually went inside, she looked even more crazy. I mean, the lady was, y'all, when I tell, I'm not trying to talk about how big, listen, I'm not that big, okay? Like, I'm tiny, right? But when I tell y'all, this lady, this lady was tiny, y'all. Like, I mean, she was not, she wasn't short, but when I say she was, like, thin. And I'm just like, I don't know, what does she do? Like, does she sit in the window all day and, like, not eat? I mean... She, she had food in the house, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know if she just don't gain weight or if she just crazy. I don't know. She just crazy and she just don't be eating nothing. I have no idea. So then, since Ashley, I almost said her name. Since Ashley is in the house, she like, okay, um, Ashley, you want, do you want any, um, she didn't know her name. She asked her her name and she told her, we told her L name. She asked us like, so what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? We told her, like idiots, we told her. So Ashley... She was like, she was like, Ashley, here, you want some juice? And Ashley, of course, because she wanted some juice and some pickles too. So she was like, um, yeah, sure, sure. I want some, I want some um juice. So we looking at Ashley, me and Brittany looking at Ashley, like, okay, now we gotta let Ashley know not to drink the juice. But <laughs> Ashley is only five. She don't understand that we're telling her with our eyes, don't drink the juice. <laughs> Okay, so now Ashley is like, literally like, she got her juice, she got her juice, she poked the hole in her little juice, Ashley is going to town, she, she drinking the juice, she drinking, y'all, she drinking the poison, okay, at this point, all I'm thinking is that it's poison, <laughs> I'm not, it's not juice to me no more, it's just poison, so I'm like, oh my gosh, no, Ashley, do not drink the, don't drink the poison, don't drink the poison, and we looking at her, and she like, what? And we like, don't drink it. What the heck is you doing? Like, I wanted to literally just snatch it from my hand and like, no, no poison for you, little missy. So the lady is like, okay, so now we're going to try to finish like opening up these pickles. So she's still tapping at the pickles with the butter knife. And everybody is trying to open up, even Ashley. She even had Ashley, little five-year-old self, trying to open up some pickles. Now, if you cannot open up the pickles, wh why would you think that a five-year-old is going to open up some pickles? It's weird, y'all. It was weird. The first thing I was thinking, because I'm like thinking like, okay, is she a crazy psycho killer or is she a pervert? I don't know which one she is, but I was trying to like watch her watch us open up the pickles because i was trying to figure out if she was a crazy psycho or if she was just a pervert lady i i wasn't for sure because i don't know who this lady is right so i'm like all right it depends on how she watch us open up these pickles if she's a pervert right i don't know if she was a pervert i don't know what this lady was i i still till this day i can't tell you if she was a pervert or she was just a psycho or if she was a nice lady I mean, she wasn't, I don't think she was just a nice lady because after I tell y'all what she did, y'all gonna be like, she probably was gonna try to kill somebody or she was just kidnap somebody, something, right? So all I can picture is her watching us open up the, the pickles like this. <laughs> trying to open up the pickles. <laughs> It was just weird, like us just like shaking, trying to open up the pickles. Like, I don't know. I, I I just pictured that she was like a pervert or something. The lady trying to open up the pickles. So all of us, we we're just in there. Honestly, it felt like I was in there for at least like thirty minutes, twenty to thirty minutes. I don't even know if it was that long. I have no idea. I don't know if it was longer. I don't know because it just felt like forever. Because I wanted to get out. I just wanted to leave the pickle lady house because I'm like. I don't know this lady. This lady might be a freaking psycho. Like, that's it. I'm just thinking psycho. She's just crazy, right? So, everybody trying to open up the pickles. Finally, we get the pickles open, okay? And she's like, oh, everybody get a pickle. Grab a napkin. So, we get in napkins, and I'm like, it might be okay for us to eat the pickles. Maybe. 
Maybe. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, we couldn't open up the jar of pickles. So, I mean, the top of, like, pickles is kind of hard to stick something through it. So, I'm like, the pickles might be okay. That's what I was thinking. Like, I don't know. It might be okay, but I still didn't want to eat it. I didn't want to eat nothing. Honestly, I didn't want to eat nothing from her because I felt like she was just a psycho. She was crazy. I mean, I don't know how many times I said psycho in this video, but I just felt like she was a psycho and I didn't want nothing from her. I just wanted to get out and leave and enjoy the rest of my life. <laughs> That's it. Like, just let me just enjoy the rest of my life. That's all I wanted at that point, right? And so, um... Yeah, so Ashley get her pickle. Well, actually, no. I think the two older ones got our pickles first. And then Ashley got her pickle. And me and Brittany looking at Ashley like, okay, you done drunk the juice. Okay, this is what we're saying with our eyes. You done drunk the juice. Do not eat the pickle. Act like you're eating a pickle, but don't eat it. Y'all know Ashley did not. She ain't catch on to that. She Ashley ain't catch on to that, y'all. She five. You think she's going to turn down a pickle? No. No. No five-year-old is going to actually really sit there and turn down snacks, food, juice. Okay? No. Nah. So, Ashley, she took the pickle. She's biting a pickle, eating a pickle. She's looking at us like, uh, what? Like, what are you looking at? Eat your pickle or give it to me. Like, what are you going to do? What? So we just like, okay, at this point, Ashley, it's no hope. It's no hope. It's no hope. It's no hope. Okay. We're just going to have to try to save her at this point. Like, we're just going to have to try to save her. I mean, I don't know. So all of a sudden, the Lord above was watching over us. And guess what happened? Our cousin, Brandon, mm -hmm, their brother, Drove, rolled past on his bike coming from outside of the gate. And, I mean, we wasn't allowed. Uh, because our cousin, my cousin Cynthia, didn't allow us to go. Like, when I used to stay over that house and stuff, like, she didn't allow us to go outside the gate. She like, y'all stay in, in the courts. Like, y'all have no reason to go outside the gate. Like, no reason. Because nobody live out there that we know. So, you don't, you don't need to go out there. So... He was riding his bike out there, and I'm about to say her name. What's her name? Okay, Brittany. Okay. <laughs> so, Brittany was like, looked out the window, was like, oh. I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal, because we, we really didn't care if he roll, roll out the gate or not, but, yeah. So, we were just like, oh. I mean, Brittany was like, oh, my gosh. My little brother just went out the gate. I got to go and get my little brother. So, the lady was all, like, turned around, like, what? What? Like, where you going? So, we run out, and we're like, oh, my gosh. Brandon just now went out the gate. We, he went out the gate. Even though he just came back in, but we just said he went out the gate. So, we were just like, oh, we got to go. We got to go. So, we run. Me and Brittany, we run. We going, right? We going down the steps like, uh-uh, let's get out of here. We made it out. We made it out. Yeah. <laughs> we happy. We we happy. We, we out of there. Because, yeah, we didn't know how we was going to actually leave the lady house, right? So, then, as we're running down the steps, I'm like, wait. And she's like, what? I'm like, we left Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, we left the baby. How did we leave Ashley, the most gull the gullible one? How did we leave her? I mean, at this point, she could be feeding Ashley a slice of cake. That had poison in it. And she would eat it. Like what the heck. So now we like. We stop and we like. Oh my gosh. Ashley. And we run back up the steps. And we open up the door. Good thing the door was still unlocked. We open up the door. And we just yelled in there like. Ashley come here. Come on. Come on. We got to hurry up and get him. We got to hurry up and get Brandon. So Ashley come running out the kitchen. And we run down the steps. And we run outside. And we like. Thank you, Lord above. Okay, so y'all, I'm editing the video, and I forgot to actually tell y'all that when we went to go and get my cousin because he ran, because he was riding out of the gate, um, I forgot to tell y'all that Ashley told us that she was looking out the window to make sure we left.
when we left, when Ashley was in a, when she was in an apartment by herself, she actually was looking out the window to make sure that we left. So, yeah, we don't know what she would have did to Ashley. When I tell you, like, y'all, y'all do not understand. Like, I did not know how I was going to get out that house. I didn't know how to say, like, okay, because I was still young. Like, I was probably about, like, nine Something like that. I don't know. I was probably about like nine years old. I didn't know what to say, like to leave. Like, oh, like I want to leave because I'm. Then I'm like, say she's a crazy lady, and she'd be like, you're not going nowhere. You know, like I, I don't know. So I was just like, how can we get out of here, right? So anyway, so we get outside and we talking to my cousin Brandon, and we just telling him what just happened. Like, this lady had us opening up pickles. She gave us juice, and. She just seemed off. Like, y'all y'all probably, like, listen to the story, like, it's not that serious. It's just pickles and juice, like. But no, and she was off. Like, y'all, this lady whole vibe, like, I'm big on vibes. Like, if you know me, you know I'm big on vibes. And her vibe was just, like, her vibe just threw me all the way off. Like, I was just, like, I don't, I don't know about her. Like, I really don't. But anyway. So we was talking to him. It was like, yeah, like she was just like weird. He was like, oh yeah, she always do this. Like she always like give out like juices, juice and stuff like that. Like she be like tossing stuff down. But this time she didn't toss nothing down, y'all. Like she actually wanted us to come up and come in her house. Like maybe she that that was that's what she been doing was baiting the kids in to lead up to coming into her house. That's what I was. That's how I took it. Like maybe she was baiting them in. To come to our house so they can feel comfortable like, oh, this is something that always happens. So we could go in there because she always giving us snacks. You know, that's that's the crazy thing that people, like, this is how people think. Crazy people think, right? So I'm just like, okay, she always do this. And then I'm like, wait, Brandon. Um, oh, and she was telling us about her grandson. That's where all the toys came from. I forgot to tell y'all that. When we was doing a pickle, like, opening up the pickles or whatever, she was telling us all about, like, her daughter and her grandson. Yeah, because my grandson, you know, he don't even come over here like that no more and all this other stuff. But, you know, your brother, she even know that. She even knew who their brother was. She knew who Brandon was. So she been watching these kids for a long time, y'all. That's the part I forgot to tell y'all. She been watching them for a long time. She knew exactly who their brother was. She knew who was related in the court. Y'all, she was like, she was like, oh, um, yeah, because even your brother, your brother, he played, he played with my um grandson. They played, they play together. Your your brother know me and stuff like that. Like saying that his her brother know him and I mean know her and know her grandson and all this other stuff. And then she was like, Yeah, but my grandson don't come past no more. Like he don't really come. He haven't been here in a while. He haven't came past in a while. I haven't seen him. And I I asked Brandon, I'm like, Brandon, do you know that like do you know her grandson? Do you know this lady? Like, do you know that her grandson? He was like, She ain't got no grandson. He was like, I never saw a kid go in there. Like she ain't got no grandson. I don't I don't know that lady. I don't know her grandson. I just know that she always asking us, do she, do we want some chips and stuff? Like I was like, where'd she get those toys? <laughs> like, honestly, that was like the first thought in my mind. Like, where did this lady get these toys from? Anyway, I was creeped out. I was freaked out. And I was just blessed and thankful that she did not kidnap us. And we didn't have to whip her booty. Because, <laughs> y'all, I was ready. Like, I was on, like, I was, I was ready. I'm like, y'all, listen. If we got to bank her, we're going to bank her. Like, y'all. I was like, I was ready to have to fight this lady. Like, I was really, I was sizing her up. Like, yeah, she tiny too. I'm tiny too. Like, I was tiny. I was a little tiny little person. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I still am, obviously, as you can tell. I've been tiny my whole life. But I was even smaller. I probably was about like, like 80, 90 pounds. But I could throw these hands. You feel me? I was, <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. But no, seriously, I was really ready to fight this lady. Like, <laughs> I was ready. I was ready. You touch me or one of my cousins, it's going to be a problem. Okay? 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 So, anyway, y'all. It was just like, it was crazy. He said that he don't know what grandson she's talking about because she, he don't remember her having no grandson. He don't even know this lady. Like, he don't even know her. He just know her to be yelling out the window talking about, hey, you want some snacks? You want this? You want chips? You want... So, 
Anyway, y'all, that was the time that I could have possibly been kidnapped. And yeah, because I didn't know this lady. I didn't know, like, she was just weird. Like, she was just, like, off all the way. But thank goodness I did not get kidnapped and nothing bad happened. And she didn't do anything crazy to us. Um, but yeah. And that's how I met my best friend, by telling her that story. And she was interested. And now she my best friend. Hey, Tay-Tay. So, <laughs> but yeah, that is the story of the pickle lady. So when I say the pickle lady, y'all know what I'm talking about because we like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, we like that. So anyway, see you guys next time. And I'm, I'm going to try not to be, like, gone too long like I have been. But this quarantine life is like, y'all, y'all, like, I want to be able to go outside. Like, y'all, when I tell you when quarantine, like, when, when quarantine is over, I'm going to go outside. The stuff that I didn't do, I'm going to do. I'm going skydiving, y'all. I'm jumping off of cliffs. I'm going to the park. I'm... I'm, I'm going to the dog park and I'm running around with dogs, like all type. Listen, I don't care, all type of dogs. Like, y'all, I'm I'm going to do some things. Like, I'm going to do things. I'm going outside. I'm breathing in the air like. Because <sighs> this quarantine, it just shows you that you just have to, you have to live life. You have to love life. Stop taking things for granted, you know. But anyway. Like, just the little things. Just the just the little things. But hopefully everybody is doing well. Hopefully everyone is, you know, keeping, staying safe and wearing your protective things, like your mask and everything. So, yeah. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!